Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I am finally back. So I've decided for to put like a schedule for my videos. I usually just like post whenever I can, but now I'm going to be posting every Friday. I know it's a Saturday or Sunday when I post this, but yes, every Friday I will be posting. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so um, yeah, today uh, we're going to be doing these window catchers i don't know what they're called please let me know in the comments um i have three this is the first one i'll show you the next two as we got as we go so yeah let's get started i'm going these are just like regular crayola watercolors so yeah in case you guys were wondering let's just take the brown and get started and um you have to lay this on thick or the other side is just gonna look like that so yeah, let's get started. Okay, I did a nice brown for the tree trunk. And like normal, I'm just gonna do a regular green for the palm tree, palm leaf. Okay, you got the green open. Again, I'm laying it on pretty thick so it shows on to the other side. Okay, now I am done with the green on the leaf, and I should have mentioned this in the in the beginning of the video. Make sure you have like a background like this. I'm just using some old paper for the background. You do not want to get your desk or whatever you're working on stained. Also, have a pot of water to wash off your brush. Okay. Okay, now I'm going in with like a tannish brown, and since I don't have anywhere to mix the paint, I'll just mix it here. Oh no, wait, I'll just lay this on watery. That'll be fine, instead of mixing the paint. Okay, so now we're done with that. There's like a little smudge there, so we'll just clean that up. No, I don't want you to make you bigger. Okay, perfect. Oh, um, how do I already have paint on my hands? Okay, um, now I'm going to go with this window here. I'm going to do a blue. I'm going to do like a really thick blue here and just like a watery nice blue in the middle. Okay, now for the really light part, I'm just going to dip my brush in the water. Light part. It looks exactly the same, but I'll just lay it on a little thicker here. That's okay. Okay, now for the opening. For that, I'm going to be doing a yellow. Okay, there it is. Now for that part. Oh my god, I just dropped something. Wait, that wasn't me. Okay, um, I'm going to choose a bright red because red goes well with yellow. Okay, I've decided to, to make the whole house the brown color that I wanted to do for the roof, but I said no to, and, uh, oh my god. Uh, just got a palette. Really messy, but it'll do. So, yeah, let's just mix the colors. Okay, I'm really liking this color. It looks like a chocolate milk. But I'm going to add just a little more. No, please don't contaminate that. I haven't even used it yet. Okay. That's the color that I wanted. If you guys can't see that, it's this one. And it's okay if it's a bit messy because it, it'll be fine on the other side. Oh my god. 
looks so bad right now. I'm just, again, just telling myself it'll look better when you turn it over. Hopefully it does. That part right there, meant to do that in a... Get you out of here. Meant to do that tiny part up there in red, so I'm just going to go that over with that in red. Take that color out. Okay, that looks awful. Should have thinned that out a bit. But let's flip it over and see what it looks like. Oh my god, that's not actually bad. So I do see over here the red didn't come through fully, but I don't mind that. So I'm just going to let this dry off to the side. And we're going to move on to the second one. The second one that I've chose for today is this. Is this flower so yeah for the flower I will be mixing like a pink and I don't have a white cuz I used it all I use my whites very quickly so I'm gonna try and make pink hopefully this works I'm gonna use this color because it's like the closest thing to white that I got. Wow, my voice. Nice. Okay, I got my pink. Still a bit hot pink, but I'm just glad this worked. So, again, like I said, for the bottom petals, I will be using the red directly. So, the creep. Just said creep. To create a little bit of a blendiness. Instead of just taking the whole thing pink, which would be boring. So, yeah. Okay, so, um, I got the red in and that. Um, oh my god. It got in that, so I'm gonna do the only way possible to... The only way, well, I know, to do that. I'm gonna blend this out into this. Hopefully it works. I'm going to need, like, a darker version. I said version. Version of this. I don't have any space, so it's the best I can do. Please bear with me. Okay, I know there's probably, like, no difference on camera, but yes, there is a difference in real life. Why did I just close that paint pot? A little more. Okay, good. So now let's get into the blending. I honestly thought it would look like a blendy mess, but no, it actually worked really well. I'm just gonna lay it on a bit thicker there. Yeah, that's what I thought it would look like. Non-blendy mess, even though I said blendy mess. Okay, so basically I tried to like make it better, but that just became a darker version of that color so i think i'm just gonna go with that because i kind of like it just like go lighter and lighter and lighter until this just becomes like the lightest color in there but i do like that that also proves that i can just mix paint there instead of like that okay so I did that, now we're just going to go straight in with the lightest color we have for the last few. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to go in for some final touch-up for the rose, and then move on to the leaves. Okay, so yeah, that's my flower, and it turned out so much better than I thought it would. So now for the leaves, since we did like so much blendiness in the flower, I'm just going to go for a straight up green. Okay. Okay, I'm finally done with that. So let's see what it looks like turned over. Mm. Oh, I actually really do like that. Gives like a marble effect right here. Like I kind of like I wanted to. Oh my god, only if that fell. So yeah, I'm going to leave this one to dry right next to the house. 
So lastly, we have the one that I have been waiting for, and I I have a feeling this one's pr gonna be like pretty easy. If I can pick it up, there. It is the tiger. I've been waiting so long for this. You probably, you guys probably just saw like, I don't know, 15 minutes. Yeah, it's been like 30 minutes for me. Got painting all that. But yeah, this is like the fa my favorite one that I wanted to do. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty easy because it already has like the black lines in. So I just have to fill it in with orange and a little bit of black when we do the tail. So yeah, this is going to be pretty easy. Whew, let's get started. Okay, now I'm done with the orange, but there is a few things that I would like to color that's not orange. So we're gonna bring in the pink for the ears. Okay, orange, get out of the ears, and the mouth. Oh, okay, I just got the mouth all orangey. Okay, so yeah, I'm done. Let's see what it looks like on this side. Oh, it's silver. I like that. Oh my god, my pink didn't show through on the mouth. That's okay. And, um, I just realized I forgot one of the other colors that I wanted to add in. Oh my god. It scared me. I wanted to add blue for these eye circle thingies. Yes, that's what they're called. Eye circle thingies. That looks creepy from this side. Looks creepy, creepy from that side. Okay, so, um, this did not show through one bit. So I'm gonna get my tissue paper. Okay, I just broke off a tiny bit. Okay, so I took off one part in the tail because I wanted to add color to that as well. And yeah, I took off the mouth with the tissue. Hopefully that can see now. And the part of the tail, I wanted to color that black because like tigers do have that weird stripey tail as well. It's a lot of black. There. Again, still looks creepy. <sighs> Hopefully there's like a pop of color this time. Okay, I kind of hope those lines were black. But I don't hate it. I will leave these to dry overnight. But here are the three that I did. So yeah, I'll, it'll, I'll leave these to dry overnight and see you guys then. Bye! Wait. Okay, so yeah, I'll leave these to dry overnight and I'll see you guys okay, then. Okay, so hey, Bye we're going to look at here. The volume didn't come through on this one. So yeah, so it's the morning now and I'll show you guys my least favorite to my favorite one. So my least favorite one has to be the tiger. I mean, it's not bad, but the... um. I like it better this side because there is like at least black. It's kind of bad, but this side it's, it has like the silver things and I don't really like it. Okay, so the second one is this one. It's in the middle because I don't really hate it and I don't really love it. It's a bit messy, but it's not the worst. And I really do um, think I can do better on this one. And my favorite one, drum roll please is the flower i really do like the gradient on this one and i spent a long time doing it so yeah the uh yeah this is my favorite and um these are all three side by side so yeah i will do if we can get this video up to 20 likes i will do a part two so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe bye